If you want to find out if something represents a function or not, you can see if it passes the vertical line test. Now the vertical line test is where you find some sort of x-coordinate that you draw a vertical line through. And if you draw a line through the x-coordinate of 8, then every point on that will have 8 as its x-coordinate. Even if you don't know what its y-coordinate is, you'd know that its x-coordinate is 8. But we see that it hits our function twice. So in this case, it looks like 8, 2 and a half if each little grid over here is 1. And down here, it looks like 8, negative 2 and a half. But the point about the vertical line test is the fact that we got two different y values for the same x value. Another way of saying that is for the same input, we got two different outputs almost two different answers if you will so we say that this fails the vertical line test which means that it's not a function for all the other ones whenever you draw a vertical line you only get one single point so you're never going to get two different outputs for the same input it doesn't matter where you do it on the other ones but as long as, long as you can get at least one place where you get two different points for a vertical line, it fails the vertical line test.